Hi, my name is Tomas Ryan, I'm the manager of the Free Research Facility here at Moorpark. Um, and today we're going to talk about pregnancy scanning and the type of systems we use here at Moorpark. Uh, we run a three-week batch system here, so that means every three weeks we serve ourselves and every three weeks we scan ourselves for pregnancy. We have an ESF system in our dry cell house, so we draft out ourselves the night before for scanning and then we come in in the morning and then take these cells from the, the main drafting area and bring them down to a holding pen. Once they're in the holding pen, we put them in the cell crate and then uh, each cell is individually scanned for pregnancy. The type of scanner we have in Park is an ultrasound scanner. It consists of a screen and a probe. The probe is placed at the uterus of the cell and then what you're looking for in the screen of the scanner is little black circles of amniotic fluid, um, which is basically telling you that the cell is pregnant. Uh, the one um, area that some people can trip up on here is that they inadvertently identify the bladder instead of the uterus and this shows them uh, a big fluid filled area but, but it is not the uterus. What you want to find when you're looking at the uterus on an ultrasound scanner is grey tissue which indicates muscle um, with the black uh, amniotic fluid sacs imposed around it. Okay, so once that's done, the cell then is either um, uh, classified as pregnant or not pregnant. Uh, pregnant cells are returned back to the main herd and not pregnant cells are introduced back into the service area and they will either fall into the subsequent week's service or else they will be put on Altrazen to hold them for future service down the line or their reproductive performance history will be evaluated and they may possibly be cut.